everybody, we're the Scots. We traded the typical American dream to follow a dream of our own. We live in our RV and travel full time. And today you can spot us in Buchanan, Buchanan Michigan. Michigan. And we are taking advantage of this beautiful, beautiful day. It's nice to have some wonderful weather again. To finally install our RV lock. RV lock. <laughs> if you remember from, <laughs> wow, a couple months ago now, yep. we had received our front door RV lock and it had been broken in shipping. So um, That was back in Colorado. Yeah, it was like February. Way back in the day. So um, we had sent it back to them and got a replacement, mm -hmm. but they had just started making the ones for the storage bays as well. Yep, so we're going to see so, if we can trade those out as well and make it a little bit more secure yeah we ordered four because there's two on each door yep and we and have them through, all keyed to the same key which is really nice because then for us it's just one key but it's different than everybody else's so yep. that's going to be really really nice but they also make keypad ones for the storage compartments mm -hmm. but we elected for just the key ones yeah because we don't really need the number pads for those well that and each compartment door has, has two on it two on it mm -hmm. so it'd be you know, two keypads on one door. Do, 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 be a little bit difficult. Do, 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 do. Yeah, better to just use the key for those, but we did get the numerical keypad entry and the key fob thing for our front yeah. door, so that's gonna be really nice. Yeah, so we're gonna go try to get these installed finally, and we're gonna take you along for the ride. Enjoy. Okay, honey, so what is going on here? So this is the original slam latch handle from our door. From our cargo door and as you can see I've taken it out um, this is the original that came on the Montana high country and then this is the one that was sent to us by RV lock and it looks like it would fit looks about the same size but unfortunately when I went to install it a it doesn't fit in this way and uh, it's not like you can actually take this apart and put it back together with it in there because um, it's all one piece of metal. I tried taking it apart. <laughs> mm. um, and second of all, you would need to have it down to about this far right? Um, for the latch to even be working, which is farther down than this one goes. It said it fit most fifth wheel models, including Keystone, yeah. but I guess ours does not fit in the most. I guess not. So we'll see if we can return them, but that's a bummer. We got to find some way to put better locks on here yeah we can figure out something so yeah I'm we sure were sure there's a way to do it <sighs> finally get around to doing this and then didn't yep. work but hopefully the front door will go much better I hope so it should it's more universal from what I understand yes so well it was worth a try I'll only put this back on and then we'll move on to the front door okay oh. see this we got the number keypad and the fob the key fob oh. should be really nice Ooh. Our dear friends Josh and Kaylee have one of these as well, and I believe they're actually being sponsored by RV Lock. Yes, now. they are. I'm jealous. Yes, they are. But sure. I'm pretty excited to see how now, this turns out. Disclaimer, gentlemen, you can't take away my man card on this one. I will be reading the instructions because <laughs> this has to do with safety. <laughs> Ooh, key fob. I like the key fob. That's really nice. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Here's our keys. Ooh. Nice. Ah. Oh, very nice. Okay. Last time when we received it, this whole part right here had been broken. Yes. And it just wasn't going to work without that. And actually, this nub here, the post, which that slides onto, was broken as well. Yeah. But this one looks to be all in good working order. So. All right. Now that I've removed the four screws from the back plate, I'm going to come and I'm going to remove these two screws from the side plate. Oh. And then there's that. And then there's that. <laughs> so yes, take the back plate off first. <laughs> and then once you remove these two screws, you can remove the front of the lock. The front of the lock, is that what you said? Yes. Here we go. All right. Well, Old lock, out. It's off.
So next we're going to take the front of our RV lock. We're going to place it in the front of our door. Make sure this comes all the way through. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and while that's in there. Finesse. It needs finesse. There's no finesse going on here. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to place the strike plate on the jam side of the door. Life in the Scott household would be easier if I could just help him instead of videoing things, but that's not what we signed up for. <laughs> nope. So instead, I watch him struggle with things <laughs> that I could totally give him a hand with because I have to hold the camera. I'm not going to tighten them down all the way. Just enough to keep it in there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the front of the lock to the connector that actually goes to the battery pack here. You, you should hear a beep even though it's not turned on. Excellent. Hey, what you said was going to happen, happened. I know, right? <laughs> and now we need to tuck all these wires in to make sure that all the wires are out of the way of our screws. Then we're going to take our four long screws, our alignment screws, and just get them in there just a little bit, just so we can hold everything in place. And in case you haven't watched our other video or don't know why we're doing this, um, Basically, it's just for higher security so that someone with a similar model can't just open it. And then, of course, the convenience factor with the keypad and the key fob is nice, too. Doesn't he look so handsome doing this kind of stuff? Look at him. Stop it. So handsome. I love it. At least your mom will agree. It's true. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, so I lined it, and then I tightened the four screws down, making sure that everything was nice and square and where I wanted it. And I'll go ahead and I'll tighten them all down nice and tight. And when I aligned it, I made sure that the handle works, and I also made sure that the deadbolt works. Awesome. I'll just go ahead and tighten down all these screws. So next, we're going to make sure it actually works when we close it. Something's catching, but that might be the other door because it was already doing that to us. It was doing that to us door, before. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it's just the screen door that's doing that. All right, so give me the keys. We'll make sure that the key works for the deadbolt. Okay, key works for the deadbolt. Excellent. Now key for the handle. Okay. Testing phase, always important. Oh, that's right, I forgot it beeps when you lock it, right? Yes. Okay, so keys work, that's always good. Yes, so now all that's really left is figuring out the electronic part, right? Yes. Okay, 
Okay, so first we're going to test it, make sure that it's working with the test code they put in, which is just one, two, three, four. Okay. Locks. And then. And okay. it unlocks. And now we're going to go through putting in a personal code, how you change it to your personal code. But we're just going to do 1111, which obviously is not going to be our real personal code, just so we can show you how to do it. That way we keep our code private. But it can be from, uh, uh, what, zero to eight digits? Yes. don't know how it could be zero. I guess that means no code. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we'll just do it with another four-digit code just to show you how. Okay, so while we hold down the eight and press the lock, let it both go. We're going to enter the existing code and press lock. And then we're going to press our new code. And then again. And then we got the long confirmation code that says that is our new code. So now we're going to test it. And it locks. <laughs> And it unlocks. I'm sorry that was so fast, but it only gives you 12 seconds yeah. to do it or it doesn't work. So we so, can't really explain and go slow. <laughs> so I can show it to you again. So to reprogram, you're going to press 8 and hold and then press lock and then let go. You're going to press in the current code and press lock. Then you're going to press in your new code. We'll change it to 1234. Press lock. Do it again. New code. Lock. And then you get the long confirmation beep. Cool. And now it should be good. We'll test it out with our new code. One, two, three, four, lock. It locks. And then one, two, three, four, it unlocks. Nice. Now, do you have to do anything to program the key fob to it, or should it just work? Um, actually, that'll be next. OK, so now we're going to program the RV lock to the actual fob itself. So we're going to turn the fob switch to the on position. We're going to press the fob learn button. And it should give us a beep to confirm that it's on. And then we're going to press and hold the lock. And now it's programmed. And we'll leave the fob switch on to use the fob. So if someone wanted to, they could turn that feature off. Yeah, actually, here, I'll turn it off and show you that. Then it doesn't work. Then the fob does not work. So if it's not working, make sure your switch is on. Awesome, this is going to be so convenient. Let's try it out. Nice. <laughs> and then if your electronics ever failed or whatever, you still have the regular key to it as well. Exactly. So, I love it. We are keyless now. And we got ourselves an awesome code that nobody knows. Yes, we do. <laughs> Cool. I'm excited to start using our RV lock. RV lock.